Oh, wait. Peggy, you there? Well, we're live now, so hi, everybody. Um, Becky's kind of having issues. Hold on, we are... Okay. We hear you, Becky. I hear your thing. It's weird. Something weird is going on right now. Yeah. So it's... All right, Becky, yes, no, hear us, no, maybe? Nope. I don't know. She's not muted. Ah, uh, technology doesn't like to work with us, does it? figure it out yeah what? yeah okay well we got your side figured out now becky's having issues okay hold on let me okay. becky can you hear us no okay yeah she's reloading hold on oh technology well, anybody watching us, as soon as we get this figured out, we will be watching Shrek 2. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are we good? Yeah, we're good here. Okay. Yep. Now that we've... Okay. Finally. So, now that we've gotten all the technical issues out of the way, or that's about half an hour, uh, we're watching Shrek 2. My memories of this movie is it was just as much of a thing as your first one, if not bigger. Uh, I remember the whole, like, uh, what's American? No, not um, the singing whatever with, yeah, I forget what it was called. I, but yeah, I remember that was a big thing, too, so. Oh, yeah, the Far, Far Away Idol. Yes, oh, yeah. thank you. It was not uh, as good as the end of the first one, though, but it was still no, I no, I lo I loved the far, far away idol. I love that they actually got Simon Cowell to agree to do that. Yeah, that, and that was right on the peak of his popularity too. Oh yeah, right around the time he got his mouth insured for about ten thousand dollars because someone had threatened to punch that him. That still the mouth. blows me the fuck away. You got your mouth insured seriously? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I still don't believe that, but hey, I've heard weirder things so. All right. So, what were your guys' experience with this movie? <laughs> I had glow in the dark yeah. stickers on my remote on my TV at home of Donkey from this movie. Ah, nice. I I saw this like I want to say the same weekend it came out. So, and this one, to be fair, also holds a special place in my heart because it makes fun of like Hollywood and like basically the culture of living in that area and i grew up like an hour outside of la so the fact that they satirized a culture i grew up in yeah yeah that that holds Very a special place in my heart awesome and we should mention this was right this was like at the peak of michael myers popularity before he just started kind of going downhill because he's not as because michael myers ruled the fucking world for a while and it's just Mike Myers. Michael yeah. Myers is a completely different character. I was just gonna say. <laughs> Fair enough. Just Fair enough. Mike Myers. <laughs> that is a good point. That is a very good I point. I can't decide whether that was funny or cringy. <laughs> I, I can't decide whether I should laugh or be embarrassed for all of us. <laughs> Fair enough. So, uh, it's a joke right. that's made on, on like uh, TV shows all the time. I was just watching something where they did the same thing. It's fine. <laughs> I don't remember what I was yeah. watching either, all though. Right. Well, I did. Well, I just thought he also did Cat in the Hat, which is a movie that is. No, I just got kicked out because Hulu was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make sure your things are going. Okay. Well, I'm gonna right, bring right, it back so... up now. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll give you a second to 
So it's probably one of the last good things that Mike Myers did because the third yeah, Shrek movie wasn't as good, and I never was... even bothered watching the fourth one. So. Yeah, same. The third one was very okay. I saw was... the third one in theaters with my mom because my mom loved the first two movies, and I guess we were bored. And so, oh, I took her out for like Mother's Day or her birthday or something. How sad is that? Oh. <laughs> to see Shrek I honestly the didn't even know there was a third one until like years after it came out. It it was so cute. Um, I, I mean, haven't my mom seen it at liked all. It, well, I but I remember gone. thinking, wait, they're gonna make a fourth one still, and I was not interested. Yeah, like like I said, the third one wasn't bad. It was just very very okay. Yeah, it's like, I haven't seen it, so I can't comment on that because it was strict. Is strict three the do that one Christmas next? One? It doesn't matter. We can solve is it the that. Christmas one or no? no. The Christmas okay. one isn't technically part of like. The quadrille. Quad it's not part of the quartet. Yes. Like I said, I, I like I said, I hadn't, I didn't know there was a number three until like a year after it came out, and I didn't know there was a four until you guys told me about it. So yeah, I, I didn't bother seeing the fourth one. So yeah. For some reason, I don't think anybody blames you, considering, like I said, I didn't know about it until a couple months ago. And, yeah, so, all right, let's get into this. Everybody got your Hulu loaded up, and... Yeah, it's back now. Alrighty. I thought he froze for a second there. You were standing very still, no. Jacob. All right, so... All right. Are we ready oh, now? I turn that down. Yeah, okay, go ahead, play. Us down, Jacob. Okay. I already did. I, I did not did. hear you count down. I told you you did froze. You play? I wasn't so, ready. Yeah, I didn't hear the countdown. All right, hold on. Everybody ready? Yes. 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 Three, two, one, play. For fuck's sake, dude. Ah. Uh, Oh, I don't mind. Okay. Technology sucks. Yeah, there we go. Is it playing for people? Yeah, I'm playing. Do we need a resync? No. no, mine's playing fine. I'm Becky. Yeah, mine's fine. You're. Are we good? Are you playing? Okay. All right. Hopefully, we're close enough. Okay. okay. If we're all well, off, I'm we're... in the cloud sequence. I'm yep. in the cloud sequence before DreamWorks. Yeah, that's where I am. Are you guys? Oh, you guys that? are ahead of me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> By a split second. <laughs> okay, I see the DreamWorks logo right now. Yeah, I'm not there yet. The balloons are floating away. Yeah. All right. Now I'm at the DreamWorks. I guess fast forwarding Can takes. You... It's because it's still going to pause, and I'm going to still end up just as far behind as I am now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, the best we could do is me and Becky pausing it for like two seconds. It's fine, you then... guys. I've seen the movie. I'll I'll know what you're talking about. It's cool. Fair enough. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie, though. So plus, I, I would have this on DVD somewhere. I did like the second one. Plus, I would imagine plus, our audience is amazing. smart enough to be able to fill in the gaps. So uh, yeah, <laughs> all six of them. Yeah, that's the third one. Yep, I know you do. Uh -huh. oh this God. one has, of course, a very similar opening to the la to the other one. Yep, they open up with the, the whole storybook. Story yep. I Which just like I'm how Prince Charming probably... has a strong resemblance to Prince Jamie from Game of Thrones. I never noticed that. <laughs> then again, not... I'm as not soon really... as I saw I Prince Jamie Thrones, on so Game I of Thrones, Thrones, I was like, "Oh my God, it's Prince Charming from Shrek 2. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed that. I... Again, yeah, I'm not really into Game of Thrones, so. I never watched it. So he had the same haircut. Like I don't know if it was on purpose, but man, did they make Jamie look Maybe. like Prince Charming? It is, it is very possible. I do know. I do know that um, George R. R. Martin. He is a huge fan. No, it, it, it wasn't George who made both. the call to make them look alike. It was whoever. It was a costuming thing. Fair enough. But, uh, but like I said, I do know George R. R. Martin is a huge nerd into fantasy and stuff like that, which is why he made Song of Ice and Fire. Great, I do disagree with him on a lot of because he has some criticism about Lord of the Rings, but it's like, 
you know, if you actually read the books, it actually explains it pretty nicely, but hey. <laughs> and this part here. <laughs> the wolf. Oh, yes. <laughs> I never noticed he was reading Pork Illustrated. <laughs> yep. I never noticed that before. <laughs> Clever. Yeah, it's Clever. the bathing suit okay. edition. Oh my. Uh, and here. Yep. The candy house and <laughs> And yeah, we could go on this song because this is a damn good song. It Love is. This song. It's Counting it's cool. Crows. I remember the this soundtrack. Yep. The music video soundtrack. for this song was very weird. The whole soundtrack. I actually the never saw the music laughed. video, so I can't comment on that. I also owned the soundtrack for Shrek 2 because I liked it as much as I liked the first one. <laughs> as did I. I played That's this fair. religiously. I just like the prince's hair flip. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> And the whole Ariel meme. Yeah, making fun of the. Oh yeah, making fun of the. I like Lord how he... She throws her back. And the and the Lord of the Rings <laughs> meme here too. Oh, the sharks were a bit much though. Yeah. Here you go, just for you, the ring. Yeah. Yep. yep. Lord of the Rings. I am. Is such this one a where they make fun that. of uh, Spider Man, or is that the first one? I can't remember. I, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah. Wee. Ow. <laughs> uh, it, oh, it's this one. It's this oh, one, yeah. yeah. I I never noticed how the whole intro was basically just how many movie references can we get away with yeah, making? Reference, reference, like, reference. What they were doing here. <laughs> I never noticed. Yep. That's what the whole point of this was. <laughs> Yep. Reference after reference after reference. Um, and yes. And they're back to their home in the woods, which, like we mentioned the first time we did this, that's a kick-ass home. I would love to live there. Donkey and yes, being house sitting for them. <laughs> I don't think he is. He supposed to be house sitting? I don't know. It's it kind of weird that he was chilling out there. Yep. Oh no, he was not supposed to be there. Nope. Yeah, and feeding your fish. I don't have any fish. <laughs> Part cheesy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and just complete <laughs> not understanding the situation. Like, Donkey clearly knows what alone time means with your girlfriend. Because that's Dragon's whole thing right now. <laughs> I don't know how he's that oblivious. <laughs> Read the room. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Read the room. Yeah. <laughs> These other guys? And the Hawaii Five-O theme. Love that show. (laughs) (laughs) 
There's always that one person that has to have a gratuitous solo. <laughs> yes. Anybody who was ever in marching band will tell you that. I was just gonna say, I had a guitar player that liked to uh, randomly go into the Sesame Street theme song because one of the songs we played sounded like it. <laughs> I was in oh, marching band. Like, <laughs> I was in marching band very, very briefly as an elementary schooler. I got banned from band for missing too many practices. Wow! But when I didn't show up, I was told I was really good. <laughs> You got banned from band. Yes, I was banned from band. In elementary school, I didn't even know they could do that. Yep. Yep. I was in band up until high school, but then I dropped out. What did you play? Trumpet. I played the saxophone. I think I still have my trumpet. I was on this kick where I wanted to be like Lisa Simpson. <laughs> You wanted to be the person with the solo. Yep. <laughs> their blessing. We're already married, but yeah, sure. Let's get their blessing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and but it, the part that gets me is that Fiona doesn't recognize that this is a bad idea. Well, she is overly um, optimistic we'll about what her parents are going to think of the situation. Well, it can't be any worse than what Donkey did. Right? <laughs> and, of course, the giant onion, because, uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Like Funky Town. Yep. Oh, Donkey. Oh, no. I don't know. No, my mind just going, moving right along. Moving right along. Thank you. And that song changes. <laughs> Where's that Funky Town? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Moody had to show me a, a photo of Adam. miles away. Oh, man. That's a... <laughs> Yes. I do that to Moody whenever we go somewhere. It drives him nuts. Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah. <laughs> I do love that. I'm fine. I'm just going to finally stop talking. Finally. <laughs> In fight Bar, movie. Bar, Is it really that hard to keep yourself occupied? Uh, for some reason, yes. 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 Apparently. Not for me anymore. For five minutes. And then reminds me of when we used to play the quiet game on road trips. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I like I, said, I remember being when it, when you were a kid, it was a pain in the ass to, to you know find yourself entertained. But nowadays, like for me now, yeah. nowadays on the road trip, I'm good. I don't even need a book. I I can I can keep myself entertained by just. My nephew apparently just sat quietly and stared out the window for the ten hour drive that my sister took uh, from Pittsburgh to Myrtle Beach. So. Oh, I'm going to be listening to this when I'm when I'm in LA for IMTA. Of course. Well, Funky Town? Be, yeah, I'm going to be listening to Funky Town. Of Watch course. the train pulls up into Los Angeles and I just step off the train while this is playing. Uh, everybody know apparently knows that that's Fiona. <laughs> um, evidently. I mean, it's an onion. 
her family tried to keep the fact that she's an ogre secret for years. And she decided to come home as an ogre. This is gonna be fine. Yeah, no doubt. fine. I like Rapunzel. And that was before Disney even did Rapunzel. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which granted that the fairy tale's been I around like forever and ever, but... <laughs> that was good. I don't think I ever noticed that before. I didn't All the either. Lived in the same Hollywood Hills, I guess, right? Is that what they're alluding to? Yes. Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be their version of Beverly Hills. Yep. Yeah. And Julie <laughs> Andrews everybody, and now, my Colin thing, how Cleese? did the king and yes. Queen know they were arriving? Did they like get a message like we're arriving at this exact time? So be out. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Again, don't look too hard at the uh, audience. It is really crappy CGI. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. I mean, even for even I for know. the early to mid That's two thousand, I mean. like, it was even, good at the time. I mean, yeah, at the time it was fair, good. To be fair, for the yeah, early to mid two thousands, this was cutting edge. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, finally, Donkey finally gets can read the room, and then. I'll go park the car. <laughs> what on earth are they? <laughs> yeah, and I like this right here. It's like, yeah, let's go before they light the torches. <laughs> yeah, and there, let's pretend we're not home. They already saw you. I don't know how that's going to work. And pretend we're not home. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just awkward silence. Yeah, and there is nothing you can say. There is absolutely nothing you can say. Dear, aren't you glad meeting my parents was a lot less awkward than this? <laughs> <laughs> When I met Kendra's parents, it was a lot less awkward than that, and her dad was literally cleaning a shotgun when I met him, so. Can that stereotype just die already? <laughs> yeah. Did he just eat the shell and all? I don't even, I can't even tell what they're actually eating. No yeah. one is eating it. Yeah, absolutely. No one. Well, no one's eating it at all. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 Dad, Dad is all right. He's He's with us. Oh my god. Now see, I absolutely hate this because this is this is me. I am not good at social situations, so yeah. Well, you also have to consider it's not so much a social situation, but a completely different class expectation. You yeah, that too. You very likely won't be given a finger bowl for your hands unless you're at a really, really high-end place. And even then, I know a lot of five-star restaurants don't really do that anymore. I've never been to anywhere that does that just because... What? <laughs> I know you ain't talking about the clock, don't you? I would... <laughs> yeah, joke it on a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a bit early to be 
Yeah, and finally. <laughs> Donkeys eat lobsters? I don't think so. <laughs> I grant I don't know if it's poisonous to them, but well, considering they're mostly vegetarian anyway, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing that always that always gets me. A lot of animals are like dogs can obviously eat some vegetables. Cats can obviously eat vegetables, but. I will and say. there are some herbivores that can eat some meat, but yeah, it is a little... <laughs> right. Well, with a lot of hoofed animals, like donkeys Whee! and horses and uh, deer and whatnot, they are vegetarian, but they will become carnivorous and cannibalistic if in dire situations. Well, I, I, know, I know certain species of deer will actually become very car carnivorous, so... Like, especially in Scotland. Oh, yeah. It's about how it went when we told my parents we were moving. <laughs> Again, why they were suppressed, I don't know. I've been telling them for years. <laughs> parents are ridiculous. By the way, I'm moving to Texas, by the way. I'm moving to Texas. So you stop telling me you're moving to Texas. <laughs> we are. Hey, by the way, guys, we're moving to Texas. <laughs> Who the heck just screamed? <laughs> that was James. I'm glad something told Uncle Paul that I promised not to move from Pittsburgh. I'm like, yeah, what? Dad here for once. Oh, look at the bubbles. And we get introduced to the uh, very very godmother. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she's got to appear like Glinda does from uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yep. Your voice is her. <laughs> Again, apparently people just are not looking at each other until they're right next to each other. Yeah. Oh, I mean, couldn't you tell when she was in her bubble? She was definitely not paying attention to anything. Nope. She was in her well, her own little bubble. Literally. Just yep. I always loved. I always loved this song. It is basically and the whole Mary Monroe reference there, right? Well, this is basically celebrity consumerism at its finest. Very much. When I'm famous, can I have talking furniture too? I don't want talking I furniture. I don't think I'd ever want talking furniture. That's just weird. You're right. That would be weird. Like I'd sit on my I sit on my couch. I don't need it talking back to me, you know. You sit on the couch and all of a sudden, get off. When I'm famous, can I at least have a sexy man boy chauffeur named Kyle? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll give you that one. You know, if I had a wardrobe that like picked out my clothes for me, I'm not sure I'd say no to that. Right. I don't want to be famous. That's one thing that always strains me. Like, oh, what would you do if you became famous? It's like, uh, hide. I don't, like, if paparazzi were to come at me, oh, dear Lord, someone's getting hurt. I will say, and maybe this speaks a little bit to my own naivete, that the drama in the cosplay scene has given me a taste of what celebrity life might be like. And while I'm not a fan of it, it's also not impossible to survive. Now, if we take that in and we amplify it by 10, yeah, that wouldn't be much fun. Having said all that, I do get asked what would happen if I were to become famous. I'm going to take everybody who wants to come with me. Take them up. No, no, I need to go anyway. Look at number two. 
if you should ever need me, happiness. Yeah, let's go, Kyle. <laughs> Thanks. We've got all the happiness we need. Happy, happy, happy. So I see. <laughs> let's go, Kyle. Kyle. Very nice shirt. Well, I told you coming here was a bad idea. You could have at least tried to get along with my father. You know, yeah. Uh, Does she have like the equivalent of band posters all over her room? Yep. I don't know. I haven't been looking at them. I mean, she had a poster of Sir Justin on her wall. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Which is ironic because Justin she ends voices up in the third movie. Lance a lot in the next yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> Upper. Aww. Yeah. What, princess? That's not about to change. I made changes for you, Chuck. <laughs> I kind of wish they had more of with the dog, but. <laughs> Thanks, Donkey. You're a good friend. Uh, Telling Shrek that he's a terrible husband. No, but I mean, but here's the thing. I do kind of agree with Shrek, though. It's like this is not this was not a good idea, in any sense of the word. Yeah, but you can't like put it off forever. Just right. Well, I know, I know you can't put it off, but it's like maybe send the letters. Like, by the way, I married an ogre. Don't kill us. Yeah, she probably should have like sent ahead like a letter, or a warning, right? Like, hey, heads up. up. I married an ogre. <laughs> I'm an ogre now too. Yeah, this is not something you drop down, drop on the hump. I do love that line. Stop being such a drama king. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, sorry, dude. When we find out what your situation was, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> and That's sitting bad. between two big guys. Oh, I Everybody knows a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. We all know a mama's boy. Yep. <laughs> and then this part here. <laughs> My diet is ruined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which it's apparently really good that she knew where they were at all times. They could just stop the car perfectly at the drive-in. Yep, they're at Fryer's Fat Boy, which I guess is a ripoff of Bob's Big Boy. Really good burgers, by the way, and milkshakes. <laughs> and the whole Burger King crown thing for Prince Charming, because why not? Of course. And the mist thing that's always going there. Yeah. 
I don't think he needs some, ima some imagination for that. <laughs> no, no doubt. Facts and going after an ogre with it. The poison apple, which clever, nice little reference. Mm -hmm. Clever. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much this entire movie is reference after reference after reference, either referencing modern movies at the time or old fairy tales. So, yep. And the Cyclops, there's a there's another one. Soft. Yeah. I mean, four. And the worst dive you'll ever find this side like of ten times. Playing to that piano. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and there the frog to keep that in mind. Yep, nice foreshadowing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I like the frog. Foreshadowing. You want some poison apple cider? <laughs> yeah. Every whispers and everybody hears. <laughs> Everybody, let me clue you. There's only one fellow who can handle a job like that, and frankly, you don't like to be disturbed. Where could I find you? Should I get one of this? No. I almost need my thumb. I love how it's Antonio Banderas. They couldn't have yep. cast anyone better. No. Yeah, no doubt. Antonio Banderas is like born to play this part. Yeah, they're. Boss and Boots is literally like why this movie is even good. <laughs> yeah. Girl. Yeah. I wonder if Antonio Banderas' back hurts from having to carry this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, the, this part does get me of um, okay. How long did it take the prince, the king, to go out there? Because apparently this all happens in one night, and it took him only a couple hours to go out to some seedy dive bar in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah. I guess so. It's probably a seedy dive bar in his own kingdom. It's not like it's going to take hours to get there. Every place has one of them. Come on. Oh, yeah. And another good song here. Which, oh yeah. The entire, all, all of music is really good. And this part does give me track oh. just slaps. I like how they still have like the unicorn blankets on her bed. Yep. Like she clearly has not been in this room since she was like twelve. The part that gets me is like he, they're expecting him to share the bed when it's literally a twin size bed. Holy cow. That's not a lot of room there. <laughs> How is that thing still wound up? <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I like the really tall leg she drew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't read into it too much, Shrek. Oh, there was another. There was another Lord of the Rings reference there too. I saw. <laughs> okay, what? What? What straight passing girl didn't have a diary like that? That's straight what I mean. Like any every twelve year old girl has stuff like that. Like exactly. Shit, I'm Having sure not been a girl, I don't know what you're if you gave me time, I'm sure I could find some of my old stuff, too. Yeah. Pretty sure I tossed I was mine. never a 12-year-old girl. I have no idea. Oh, no. Everyone. We all did it. 
there were a few guys in my class that I, you know, used to write my name like that on. If my husband saw it, he knows it means nothing. Like, come on. Oh, I was the girl that got asked out as a dare, so I wouldn't know. I mean, my oh, friends, uh, one of my friends decided to give me uh, the number of my crush and told me to call it, but it was actually their number and they just wanted to make fun of me when I called it. So it's okay. Ew. Yeah. I don't know why I bothered trying is the sad part because I At knew least. it wasn't actually his number. Objection <laughs> hotline. <laughs> and there's the bush that looks like Jerry Bradley. to make things work for this guy. Let's <laughs> go. This part here, I know it was a tender uh, moment. But sound, I, I actually looked at like, I'm like, that sounds like a cat purring. And then I remembered why. <laughs> Awkward. So you're looking around for your cat. <laughs> I have a cat that purrs that loud in real life, yes. <laughs> yeah, in this part here. Oh. Freeze! <laughs> the alien's nice. <laughs> <laughs> The alien reference. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> and the Zorro reference too. Yeah, well, yeah, it one. is Antonio Banderas. Right. <laughs> yeah. Grant, I'm pretty sure they would have done that even if they didn't have Antonio Banderas going in. I mean, they probably did, but the fact that it is Antonio right. Banderas makes a Zora reference even yeah. better. Oh, yeah. That's just no, the, the icing that, on the cake. Yeah. No, the part that always gets me is like, okay, was this part originally written like, okay, we're writing this part so for Antonio Banderas, or do we already have Antonio Banderas and we're writing the part around that? That that's always confuses me about like uh like Genie is a prime example in the lab. Genie was they wrote it for Robin Williams. Hoping they would get him, <laughs> and yeah. What's the what's the funny part? The genie is and Robin Williams is a special case that is yeah. was a once in a lifetime thing that everyone's been trying to emulate ever since and hasn't been able to. Yeah, no doubt. It's, no, it's but the funny part was example. apparently how they convinced G apparently how they convinced Robin Williams to do Genie was they showed him old comedy sketch, uh, old, like his old comedy sketches. With like, as animated as the genie, which apparently that's how they got him to do it. No, it's they just, did. I've seen the uh, right. there's a video on YouTube that shows it. It's just a prime example yeah. of what happens when the perfect mm -hmm. actor meets the perfect character. Yeah, exactly. And actually, that's how we have movies like Shrek because that yeah. works so well. They're like, we need to have famous people voice all of our animated movies. Which I don't always agree with, but sometimes it works. In this case, especially because they are pretty much simultaneously shitting on and celebrating Hollywood pop culture. Here, it, it's perfect. It works. Yeah, and then. And I do love this part here. I need you to cry, and then Pussy the Boots. Do, do, do. Bam. What foot does he even have? He has a hoof.
That looks a lot like uh, the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. Right? I never noticed that. Yeah. Hey, but I do love this line. I've uh, joined the club. Oh, We've got jackets. I've fun. used that line so many times in my life. It's not even funny. <laughs> and yeah. You guys have cats. Do they ever do that? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Oh, look at the cute cat face. Oh, my yeah. God. It's so cute, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> no, the best part is coming up. <laughs> we yeah, where Shrek and is doing the whole thing, too. <laughs> Which, considering Shrek is an ogre, they got <laughs> that don't do it, like it very well. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> and what world would Shrek lick your nose? What? Some folks be into that. Don't kink shame. I just don't <laughs> see Shrek being <laughs> like oh, that, is what I'm saying. Fair point. Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> Fair enough. Like Shrek's not that cutesy, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I do love this word. Or make sure to use slow words, dear. Use small words. He's a little slow this morning. That would be the dog's breakfast. <laughs> oh, man. Which, mind you, eating dog food is not going to kill you. You can eat it just fine, whatever. <laughs> you can eat it, but it won't be a good time. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Probably not going to taste that well. She could have just said, he didn't do this to me. I chose to be like this. Nah, it's much more fun this way. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, gosh. No, really? Da -da -da. <laughs> the old Keebler's place. <laughs> old Keebler's place. Yeah. And the fake laughter, of course. Ball. There you go. Does someone have an inflated sense of ego? I don't know. Check out the giant posters in back and you tell me. I'm not going to lie. If I ever were to become famous, I probably would want a giant poster of me just because I could at that point. Yes, very good, mother. I can wait. Look, she's not seeing any. No, there's a company that like does paintings. They like make a painting of you or someone you love as like royalty. I now think I need to get you one of those. I'd be down. I'd hang it in my apartment. Just gonna make it. Just gonna get it. Just gonna. It's gonna be your entire wall. <laughs> well, you've seen my apartment. The wall behind the yeah. wall behind where I keep my TV is like blank. I think it would look great up there. <laughs> well, that so basically right next to my little corner, huh? Yeah, yeah, right next to the little <laughs> corner I banished you to. Marie doesn't. Marie has no idea what we're talking about. It's all right.
So does she? My question is: Does she spend your entire day like making poster after poster, or is it like she makes a poster and then it's like assembly line type thing? I would think she'd be making potions on the assembly line. Maybe she's maybe she's the R and D department and she's trying to come up with a new one. This is that's yeah. What, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then once a the concept is developed, it eventually gets mass produced. Fair, yeah, fair enough. I'll give you that. Why that is. Well, let's explore that, shall we? Ah, yeah, there's this part here. Oh, no ogres. Oh, no ogres. Pretty much. <laughs> Forgot about that. I mean, there are no ogres, but there is a prostitute, so. There you go. So apparently, prostitutes are allowed to live happily ever after, but not ogres. Glad we're on the same page. Ah, that's okay. We were just leaving. Very sorry. Just and this part here. Apparently, she doesn't have anybody escort them out. No, it's fine. You know who needs uh, security to do that? You just have to ask them she to leave politely. Yeah, I, I like his. Yeah, that totally fits him. That's how that's supposed to look. Yeah, totally fine. Nothing inconspicuous here. No doubt. Just an ordinary worker doing ordinary worker things. Sometimes that's Which how I feel at my be. job. Just an ordinary worker doing ordinary worker things. Uh, that's kind of my rule at work. I know nothing. I'm not paid enough to know things. I just do my job. Little do you all know, I'm actually three toddlers in a trench coat. <laughs> I feel that way sometimes, yeah. Okay. It makes sense. I'm just curious how much of this he ad-libbed. <laughs> Who, Antonio Banderas or Mike uh, Myers? Antonio Banderas, because Mike Myers pretty much was like Mike the Myers, main I think writer. Was, I'm sure he ad loved a crap ton. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if Mike Myers, Eddie Eddie Murphy, and Antonio Banderas, it was basically just an ad lib pissing contest at one point. Fair enough, I'll give you that. I would not be surprised. <laughs> yeah, this part here. How bad are you at keeping watch that you don't look out the flipping door? I mean, he's got I mean, his yeah, butt to the door. He obviously is a yeah. terrible watch donkey. Yeah, this part always bugs me. It's like, uh, just make the hole bigger. <laughs> he's Whee! got terrible depth perception and just didn't think about how big the hole needed to be. Well, I mean, once you once you figure out it doesn't fit, just put it down, make the hole bigger, and try again. <gasps> Yep. And here's the Indiana Jones reference. Hey! Go. This is another song in the soundtrack that absolutely slaps. <laughs> well, it's a whole word right now where it's like, okay, we can't be singing along with the entire th scene soundtrack the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently those guys got really crappy Stormtrooper aim because seriously he's 10 feet away and they can't hit him. Whee! That's probably not good. I like the yeah, there, they have more references here. 
So it turns the gnomes into it turns the two chickens into <laughs> a very the <laughs> turn the two gnomes into a clock and a candle, and then turned everybody else into pigeons. I'm just kind of curious, what did the purple thing do? Like, what was? Yeah. Uh, but two of the weird <laughs> things got turned into a uh, Lumiere and Cogsworth. Yeah. <laughs> Jeep fried and smothered in chocolate. I don't know if that's ever something I've wanted. Have you not ever had a deep fried Twinkie? I don't like Twinkies, so no. Damn it, no, I want something deep fried and smothered in chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, this part. How do how do they account for everything when it's just a giant spill like that? Uh, do you see how short that inventory list is? <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. Yeah, my donkey. I like how only here, one yeah, right. of the couple has to drink that. Like, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Donkey, like, no, I'm the better sidekick. That's my favorite line here. <laughs> you still look like an ass to me. Thank you. Love it. Should, no, but this part gets me. Shouldn't you be like talking with Fiona first before doing this? Right. <laughs> Take cover. I don't know. I don't know how Donkey got behind that log like that. Oh, hold on. And convenient thunderstorms. They must be downwind. Well, the clouds are blowing that way, so yeah. It's just a thunderstorm. Why are you so afraid of thunderstorms? I don't want to be caught outside in a thunderstorm. That's Dangerous. I love rain. I'll just let Becky tell you how often I go out in the rain. All the time. I love it. I don't think we need to talk about that. Considering there's always videos of you doing it. Yep. <laughs> I love the rain. What do you want from me? Boys have. I remember the commercials for Shrek 2 and how they were all like, oh. Fiona gets turned back into a human and Donkey gets turned into a beautiful horse. And they conveniently left out what happened to Shrek. Yeah. What I was actually super surprised with this movie and I found the plot twist. Like, I was like, I didn't see this coming at all. With a twist. I was. We did twist. They did what very, is I don't know. I'm still impressed with how well they left that for the movie audiences. Like, they didn't touch on it at all in the trailers and stuff. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Let's shave him. All right. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Let's shave him. Which, I have stories about that. I know I told one of you. I can't remember which one, but yeah. I've 
and I'm going to set things right. Ah, excellent. That's my job. There's a mistake for you, Shrek, here. And then we'll go out and yeah. find him. And then we're going to go back to the swamp. Happy now, King. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to move her. They're frail. Ooh, shiny light. Ooh, shiny. And sparky. <laughs> Thank you. Still like the unicorn bed cover she has. That's a mood. Unicorn bed cover? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tag yourselves. I'm the girl holding puss in boots. <laughs> we love your kitty. And apparently they're in a world that actually has Europe. <laughs> okay, but what does Dragon look like is what I, I want to know. I wonder that, too. Yeah. Like, what happened to her? Well, what about their kids, too, though? The kids aren't born yet. Ooh, that's Are we sure? Though. She still would have laid the eggs. How does he not? I'm thinking too much about I don't it. Know. I know nothing. <laughs> don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. I just want to know. Did Dragon get turned into a horse too? <laughs> I kind of want to see that now. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, as much as we're going, don't overthink it. That's probably why they left it out because they're like, we don't even, <laughs> let's not even touch it. <laughs> You see this? Uh, you see this obvious thing? Go around. <laughs> and here we go. Well, look out, princess. <laughs> 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 that should not be that funny. No, it shouldn't, but it is. <laughs> A lot of things about this movie are way funnier than they have any right to be. <laughs> well. Yeah, uh, why didn't they give the father back his clothes? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Someday I will prepare. Yeah, what? Well, I mean, I, I don't know where daddy's clothes are. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Who speaks Spanish? What was he saying? Was he cursing? No. I totally missed that. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were the whole. <laughs> <laughs> and Donkey does the hair flip. 
strange time. Yeah. How did she not notice before? Uh, so I like how her dress like shrinks and grows with her. Yeah. Always stretch material. <laughs> how do you not? How did she hear him from all the way up there? Right? You know wow, that. she went down there fast. She took the elevator. Yeah. Yeah, and now Donkey explain everything. Donkey's the exposition, Perry. Yeah. Yeah, this part here. <laughs> Shrek, for you, <laughs> no, we're sexy. <laughs> yeah, why don't you go with her, dude? Seriously. Because it's more fun this way for the drama. Yeah, for, yeah. Grant, this entire, a lot of this uh, part here is just contrivance after contrivance for the plot. Oh yeah! Yay! Plot it, no, the, like, she, heard, heard him, she heard him yelling, and shouldn't she realize this isn't him because the voice was? I don't know. Well, she does realize the voice is off. Yeah, I mean, like he. I don't know how she didn't catch on. He's also suddenly a lot more like charming in general. Yeah, no doubt. Agreeable. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they don't hear this. <laughs> yeah, she when she was up in her bedroom with the windows closed, she heard him yelling from the ground floor yeah. outside. But now suddenly yeah. she can't hear him through the window. Yeah. I'm an ogre. My life is a fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But she loves your grumpiness. That's why she married you. Yeah, no doubt. Again, why didn't Donkey and Pussy Boots go in with them? Seriously, with her. Seriously. Yep. Yeah. Back to the CD dive bar. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just leave the bottle I mean, part. Such a great piano player. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we reserve the right to behead anyone. <laughs> I did not realize yeah, that. Yeah, no, Garfield reference. Garfield reference. I hate Mondays. <laughs> I was going to say with the we reserve the right to behead anyone sign. I didn't realize that Henry VIII was the was the proprietor of this bar. Unhappy hour nightly. <laughs> yeah, no. 
No skin, no bones, no service. <laughs> no one under XXI served. <laughs> And they just so happened to be meeting at the same place at the exact same time. Uh, yes. That's called plot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I said, just this the entire mid part of the movie is contrivance after contrivance just for the plot to move along. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what you expected. <laughs> I never said it's not what I expected. I just say that's what it is. I've seen worse plot devices. Yeah, that's true. And the heart. Uh, yeah, what was the headless horse why didn't even throwing Why there? did Shrek just immediately back against, throw himself <laughs> back against the wall? Because she doesn't know what donk what donkey is. <laughs> I love how they got Joan Rivers to actually be in this movie. Yeah. And basically play a medieval version of herself. <laughs> yep. Which, to be fair, she has a sense of... Yeah, so she'd do this stuff easily. Yeah. Medieval entertainment. <laughs> yeah. I like how the magic mirror is suddenly a TV. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> it's a wheel of torture. And the police reference. <laughs> On nights. <laughs> the men in steel. <laughs> On the pepper. <laughs> pepper Oh no, we lost Becky. Oh, oh shoot, oh no. <laughs> we have lost Becky, hold on. Hopefully she pops back up here. <laughs> the pigs. No, uh, what's his face? It's fun as it's around. Oh. How the oh. fuck did they get there so quick though? Yeah, because it took them forever. Don't think about it. They used magic. Yeah. Did you pause it? Should I pause it? I haven't paused it. I haven't either. Uh, Becky's internet. She just messaged me. Her internet cracked out. Okay. So yeah, let's pause it. So pause it now. Okay. We're waiting for Becky to get back in. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> No, you beat me to it. <laughs> we did it at the same time. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting to my favorite part. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. 
Okay. So, okay, Becky is rebooting her boredom, everybody. She will should be back momentarily. Bear with us. Oh, technology. This would be so much better if we were all in the same room, bud. Uh, we're all uh, across only. the country, so that's going to be a little hard. Yep. yep. Becky's in Denver. I'm in Sa Sioux Falls. You're in Houston. Austin. No. Houston. Houston, okay. <laughs> Somewhere in Texas. Yes. <laughs> so, fair enough. Yeah. I do love I do love how we can do this online, but yeah, it's just it's a pain in the neck when the internet decides, oh no, I'm gonna screw up just because. I like how badly you spelled Snarkfest on the post today. Oh, did I, did I misspell it? Oh, shit, I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Obviously. When the, no, because I was dealing with the internet thing. I was just like, oh, crap, come on, internet, come on, internet. I just, I just put it in. I didn't even That's look. That's fair. So. <laughs> Spelling is hard. <laughs> Oh, well. I'm pretty sure people know what the heck we're doing, so it's not like this is a mystery. All right. Again, we are just waiting for Becky to come back in. Bear with us. Everybody, <laughs> hopefully, she can get, get back in here soon. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, man. It sucks when the internet goes down because now it's like, well, we can't talk about anything because there's nothing to talk about while the movie's paused. I don't like this because now we're just sitting in silence and there's nothing to talk about because until Becky gets back on. Ugh. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. Like I said, there's not much we can really talk about. I just, Puss in Boots is adorable. <laughs> yeah. I remember looking up that, uh, <clears throat> trying to find a photo of her on the internet so my sister could print it out what was she going to do with it? I don't remember. But it was still the early days of the internet. So all you could find was like crappy quality photos. Yep. I think she just wanted to print it out to hang in her room because it was just such a cute cat. Well, uh, no, but that reminds me back in the early days of cell phones uh, when I remember getting playing Jurassic Park, playing the music of Jurassic Park from the movie, putting my phone recorder right next to the TV to record it for my ringtone. See? Yep. Back before, back before digital media was a thing. Uh, my uh, my sister had found 
before apps were a thing, there was um, a website that you could like upload a song to and you could cut it and then text it to your phone so that you could use it as a ringtone. Oh, nice. So I had uh, Bicycle Race by Queen as my ringtone. And Shiny Happy People by R.E.M. was my alarm. Yeah. yeah. That's a good song. Yeah. I honest to God still do not know what my, my ringtone is currently. Because <laughs> I just never had my phone on. I always have it silenced. Well, it is a remix of uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It was the That's theme song they used for the first season of Miracle Workers. I really liked it. All right. All right. I'll give you that. But it was the first time I'd purposely set my ringtone in a very long time. Yeah. But while I had it as uh, What is Love by Hathaway, just because that was just hilarious. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Becky just messaged me. She, she her, looks like her internet is coming back on. She should be out back on momentarily. Bear with us, people. Ooh. There we go. And welcome back, Becky. All right. And fuck uh, Xfinity. Here, here, here. Fuck yeah. Xfinity. Okay, we pa we paused the movie. Um, I'm at 106.57. Where are you guys at? 106.50. Um, okay, let me see. Where am I at? 106.50. Oh, I literally can't get to 57. Yeah. 106.56. <clears throat> okay. So Marie, play for like five seconds. Me and no, Becky no, no. will count no, to five. And no, then, yeah. I'll, um, Here, you guys hit play. Just go. What? I'll catch up. It's only like sure. Yeah. All right. So everybody, what? Three, two, one, and play. Oh, my God. My internet fucking crapped out again. What the fuck? Oh, crap. Uh, I paused again. <laughs> I'm at 107 now on the nose. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. I'm just chilling. I'm just waiting. Yeah. Becky's internet has cracked out again, or at least her Hulu did. This is a problem. Because you're still, we still see you, Becky, so you're not. Okay. So, all right. All right. So 107, 06. I'm at 107 on the nose. All right. Yep. We good? Maybe. All right. You good? Yep. Okay. All right. For the God knows how many time now. Like I said, I'm at 107 on the nose. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, play. <laughs> And hopefully, Marie, you're not too far behind us. No, I was also at 107 on the nose, but now it's oh. Oh. I'm going to be behind anyway. Okay. Now. Please and me. the team. I just really, okay. she doesn't have a normal braid, does she? Yeah, she does. Well, my internet works, but I suddenly don't have picture on Hulu. Oh, no. Fuck get me. Fuck Xfinity with a cactus. Are we pausing Is again? your movie playing now, or what are we doing? Becky, what do you want to do? I'm just going to drop out if my internet's going to be like this. Okay. See ya. Sure. All right. Sorry, Becky. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So that sucks. Marie and I will keep playing. Um, that sucks. You have the right to remain. Yeah. Uh, you act. Police don't actually have to Mirandize you every time. Every time you're arrested. I don't. I don't know the. I don't remember the exact situation, but I do know that they don't have to Mirandize you every time you're arrested. <clears throat> oh, here we go. The Mission Impossible. Yep. I like how Donkey is just being held upside down. That makes perfect sense for how you would hold up a 
Yeah, no doubt. I like how Pinocchio gets all twisted up with his uh, strength. Yeah. yeah, because he was trying to do the whole fancy ball thing. <laughs> yeah, but here we see that Puss in Boots is apparently very good at putting two and two together because he figures out what the heck's going on just by hearing their conversation. Because it because I don't think he knows Pinocchio. I guess he might. I like the skull on the ground. That's nice. Sets the mood. Nice, nice feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I forgot. <laughs> the mice. Quit messing around. We've got to stop that kiss. I thought you was going to let her go. I was, but I can't let them do this to Fiona. Boom! That's what I like to hear. Listen, I only come right. It's boss. The castle is guarded by a moat and everything. It's the best. Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know? Didn't we have this entire conversation just in memes? Yes, we did. <laughs> also, it takes a lot. Apparently, long. they can bake this up so in a, just an hour. Big. You know how long it would have to cook? Jeez. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> What I do like I just is like that the if you Ghostbusters have to look at the, Stay Puff Marshmallow yep. Man. Yep. That's no, exactly but what I will say, what I do like is that if you actually look at um at uh, the Muppet Man's legs, you can see that they're stitched back on. So I do like that feature. This name is Mongo. Hey, Mongo. No, you stupid pastry. Not the Starbucks. I like how there's one right across the street. Everybody goes to the other coffee house and just gets flattened. There was one day I watched two movies with a character named Mongo in it. It was this one and... Was it the Mel Brooks movie? You don't remember. I don't know why I'm asking you. I know nothing. Glitter lip gloss. Yeah, and here we go. Uh, now for the best part of the whole movie. See my. It's one of my favorite covers of any song. I don't know why you would sing this song to try to get people to dance and fall in love, but that's besides the point. Yeah. I couldn't tell you, but it's for plot. I mean, it makes for a good soundtrack, but it's not something that you'd actually slow dance to. I mean, it makes for a great no, my question, my question is, soundtrack is this, for what's happening outside. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why they got it for what's happening outside, not really this, but yeah. <laughs> nice. Look directly into the camera as she said it. <laughs> 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 nice cutaway. Yeah. This is my favorite part in the whole movie. <laughs> Man, the catapults. No. Ooh, oh, no. <laughs> Not, Not the, the button. button. <laughs> He's missed. <laughs> Return fire. Nice shot. Yeah. When did Shrek... Isn't Fiona going, when did Shrek learn to dance? Oh, 
called. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this um yes, they actually is <laughs> It needs to be said that um when they did this in medieval times, they didn't use tar, they used like sand. They used stuff that you could easily heat up and is plentiful. So sand, literally dirt is what they heat up. So I don't think they'd actually use water. You don't think they used heated up milk in medieval times to no, combat they... giant monster cookies that are attacking the castle? Yeah. And they, well, I'm talking about when they're in actual sieges, like they had like the tar on people and stuff like that. They didn't actually use tar. They used hot sand. Like I said, they used stuff that's plentiful and easy to heat up. So, I mean, even water, I don't know if they use because although water would be plentiful, I don't know if they'd be easy enough to heat up because water actually has a, it's very hard to actually heat water up to a sufficient degree. It takes they a lot of energy. They milk right now. It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Be good. No, Gingy. Yeah. Oh, no, we lost Mongo, though. Which is unfortunate. Talk about a character to just throw away. That'd be awesome to have in future movies. And here we go, where we actually see Pussy Boots is actually an awesome swordsman. <laughs> what? What was your debt to him? That's. That... But look at the cute kitty. Oh God. <laughs> It just totally, yeah. He's got this, guys. <laughs> Talk about timing. Oh, yeah. It's everything in a movie. I know. Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm a real boy. <laughs> yeah, and the blind my app. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Aww. <laughs> And Puss in Boots is back. Oh, he fought off those guards quickly. Yeah, no doubt. But if it's not the kiss of true love, it's not going to work. Yeah, no it doubt. Works. Yeah, didn't they establish that? Well, I mean... I don't know. There we go. Here's... Headbutt. <laughs> Which I should have mentioned. I know a lot of movies have problems showing headbutts in Europe because apparently it's a like it's a like something you just don't do. Ouch. <laughs> so she was nothing but bubbles this whole time? Yes, I, I don't know. I don't but know if she think... also got transformed, I don't get how that spell backfired. Yeah. It, like, uh, I, I'm guessing at the same time. My guess is the armor is kind of shiny in reflection, so maybe, yeah, it's just like a mirror. And he's a frog. <laughs> yeah. 
So here we see that he was a frog who got turned into a human to marry. Yeah. Because he was in love with the the queen, I guess. I don't know. She probably was just a princess at the time. Yeah. Yeah, here. I like how he still has a ring on his. Yeah, no uh, doubt. The ring shrunk too, yeah. Yeah. And the crown too, for that matter. Yeah, and it's like finally you t talk about this with her instead of, oh, I don't know, meeting up with her and then talking about it. He hasn't met up with her since now. This is the first time. Well, I'm saying before drinking it, he should have like kept the potion with them, met up with her while they were still ogres, then asked, okay, do you want to become human? Because if we drink this, it will work. What fun is that? Then yeah, you want to have the fun shenanigans that make up the whole But movie. like we both were the saying earlier, the it was the shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> you could not make me cry. <laughs> Donkey. Shrek looks weird as a human. Yeah. And Donkey too. Yeah. Donkey had no chance. I will say they, they did Shrek good Shrek. in making him look like because <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she's yeah, I will say they did a good job in designing the human Shrek to act because you can tell by looking at the human Shrek that it is still Shrek. Donkey, that's not so much, but yeah, that's weird how that potion worked that way. Hey, you still look like a noble steed. Yeah, no doubt. You still look like a noble steed to me. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Thank you. And now we get a whole musical number. <laughs> yeah, and now, yeah, Puss and Donkey are now best friends. <laughs> Wait, he just went off after another little girl and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and the Michael Jackson dance from freaking Oh. Oh my god, that was flash dance. Yep. Why was there even and a tinker bell in the whole man? Because oh. even the mirror gets in on it. How'd they get the mirror there? How did they I get there fast? Magic. Yeah, and Mongo's still alive under the water. Mongo. Yeah. Oh, crowd diving. Oh, no. Oh, the puppy. No, not the dog. Rip. Oh, the dog's fine. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> and the worm, man. Mike Myers, yeah. Not Michael Myers, Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Swimming is my fault. It's not a stage name. Yeah. Which was a wise choice on this part. As soon as I met you know, Michael Myers, I was around when he, before he started acting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, John Cleese. Oh, man. They just got pretty much everybody, anybody who's a person. Yes. <laughs> but they started doing for animated movies. The ensemble yep. cast. Yep. To get people to come yeah, watch. Yeah. yeah, anybody, anybody they can with a, like, well, like I said, John Cleese. Yeah, so. so that was Shrek 2, everybody. Thank you all for watching. I, this movie... Oh, John Williams, uh, John H. Williams produced us. Wow, I did not realize he was doing that much too.
John H. Williams, not John Williams, John H. Williams. All right. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> So, Are you singing along with it? <laughs> we need to do karaoke again. Yeah, I should. I should bring back karaoke like John used to do. <laughs> I think I did this for a Nerdfest karaoke once. It's a good song, so. So, thank you everybody for joining us. Unfortunately, Becky dropped out because of crappy internet. Hopefully, next week yeah, she can stay. Was, for, I, I know in the DVD there was an extra. It wasn't quite for far, far, far away. Idol, maybe it was on this one. Where they had uh, Simon Cowell do the whole thing, or yeah, I was, I wasn't. No, this is when you find out that Donkey had kids. Yep. The cuts, the far, far away. I credit, don't know yeah. Going to be included because I know it was a special on the DVD. Mm -hmm. Mid credit scene, yeah. The little mutant babies. Yeah, there it is. I think they should have kept. I really wish they had put this in before the actual credits instead of having it a mid credit scene. But look at how adorable they are. Yeah. The mutant babies. It is the weirdest thing. Yeah. It's so adorable. Which how would which how would a dragon and donkey's kids actually look? We don't know. I don't think I wanna know, but it doesn't matter. It's yeah. Matter. It's magic. Yeah, there you go, it's magic. No, nope. yeah, they don't do the far far away idol. No, that I think that was just a thing on the. Like I said, it was just an extra, but the, and the first one was a, uh, the swamp karaoke though was actually an end credit scene, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The swamp, the swamp karaoke was an end credit scene. Yeah, so it's disappointing the, that they didn't because I know in the DVD, like for the far, far away idol, you could like pick who you wanted to like watch yeah. and stuff. But well, if, if I it was fun, and it is a little disappointing that it people today are missing it if they're just watching the stream yeah. and not the DVD. Well, if I remember if I remember correctly, there were only basically three winners or uh, four winners, I guess, cuz if you cuz I remember if you chose like the blind mice or like any of the minor characters, Simon Cowell would just go, "No, they don't win." And then he would go off and he'd be like, "No, I win." So, cuz I, I know, been a while I know I've actually put it in and watched it. Win. What? I said, it's been a while since I've actually watched it on a DVD. I've been watching it on streaming ser services for at least the past eight years. So Yeah, yeah. So, but like I said, I, 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 but I do remember that, like I said, only like Shrek, Fiona, Puss in Boots, and Donkey could actually win because any of the other ones that you could choose would just be like, no, they don't win. I win, everybody. And he would go off on his own thing. So, which, which is kind of unfortunate, but I do get it because most of the other characters you could choose are like yeah, very minor up. characters that you just don't even bother. So, yep, and <laughs> today, sunset is at 843 p.m. Oh, got that. So, so yeah, well, thank you everybody for joining us next week. Hopefully, Becky will be able to join us for the entire thing. Hopefully, yeah, well, fingers crossed. We don't know what movie we'll be doing next week, we'll be discussing that in private. So, Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and have a good night. Good night, good night.